the um, historical change evidence. Okay, I might also call this uh, chronological change evidence. I'll be using those terms kind of uh, interchangeably. Okay, so that's today's topic, but I also have an announcement for you guys. As you guys may be aware of, on February 3rd, College Board got rid of their practice tests 1, 2, 3 on the website and replaced them with uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we actually have more tests than before. So what I want everybody to do is go check out those tests. I already made a short about this. And these tests, a lot of them, including this one, are pretty much actual test questions from previous administrations. Okay? So this one I'm pretty sure I've seen on an actual release test before. So go through test 7, 8, 9, 10, and whatever you guys have questions on, take a screenshot, upload it into the folder, which is going to be included in this video, in the comments or the description, whichever. And yeah, we'll go through these because these are just slightly reworked versions of actual test questions. So this is really good study material. Um, but Khan Academy is coming out with a walkthrough for these in the summer. But it's February right now, so let's not wait for the summer and just start studying now. So yeah, leave it in the comments, guys. So uh, getting to this topic. So um, this is a command of evidence question, as you guys know, because I have to support the conclusion. Okay, And as usual, I need to get to the conclusion. The conclusion here is that claim. And so when they say uh, support the conclusion, it could be literally with the word conclude, or it could be claim, argue, theorize, hypothesize. It's whatever the researchers think is the conclusion. So what do they think? There's a shift in human behavior by electric lighting in the late 19th century. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. Um, so there are uh, works of fiction that have references to time. So there's some change there that happened in the late 19th century. Okay. So that's what I have change in the late 19th century. Okay. So, as always, let's go through the method of elimination first. This is out. Because roughly the same, that's the worst answer. Uh, nobody would hope, pick that, hopefully. I need to have an evidence of change. How would roughly the same be an evidence of change of anything? So, that is out. Okay. And this is what, uh, where college work gets tricky. So, the 19th century, as hopefully you guys know, refers to the 1800s. Right? Because, for example, the 1900s, that was the 20th century, and right now, the 2000s, we're in the 21st century, right? You guys all know that, right? Um, yeah, so it is the 1800s. Therefore, it looks like, oh, it should be between A or B, and we can immediately get rid of C. However, let's check. It was late 19th century, right? Therefore, A is out because they're literally talking about the year 1800 year 1800 that is the earliest 19th century date possible because the 19th century starts in the 1800s right but i want it late this is very not late okay so that's actually out number one okay and number two it says 10 a.m how would 10 a.m be reflected by electric lighting i don't see a logical connection there so that's out but we'll get to the logical connection later so between B and C, as you approach 1900 is a very good college board trap way of saying late 1800s, right? For example, if somebody says, um, you know, uh, he is approaching his 30s, that would be the late 20s in his age. Yeah, so the late 1800s is the getting closer to 900. So that's fine, okay? So we're between B and C. So up to this point, we got rid of A and D. Why? D was the same, so it cannot be an evidence of a change. Okay? And then A is out because it's the wrong time period. It was the year 1800, but I need it late 19th century. So without even understanding really the topic here, I got rid of them. Okay? Now, what was the topic? This has to be changed. It's brought up by lighting. Okay? Because of electrical lights. So, answer it here is B. 10 p.m.? Yup, because 10 p.m. at night you would turn the lights on. Whereas C... Implied time references? How are implied time references related to uh, lighting? I don't know. Okay, so that's that. So that's why going back, A is doubly wrong. Not only is the year 1800, it's 10 a.m. You don't need lights at 10 a.m. Okay, so as is typically the case for advanced problems, we were able to get rid of half the answer choices 
without really getting into like the core core content of the text. We got rid of D because it wasn't a change. We got rid of A because it was a wrong time period. Only when selecting the final answer do we actually have to know the logic here, electrical lighting. Okay, so that means 10 p.m. is at night. Yeah, so that's how we do that uh, chronology question, guys. So typically with these, with just the basic um, ideas of am I looking for a change and also what time period am I looking at, I can get rid of two answers. Yeah, and only when we're down to the last two will I, in the advanced questions, have to actually get to the core understanding. So that's it for uh, today's quick and dirty video. Um, as always, leave comments in the uh, comment section if you guys have questions on this. And also, please do leave uh, questions you want to go over in the uh, Google Drive for that I will share with you guys. Okay? So study every day with who? With XJ, that's the best way. You already know. See you guys soon with more questions.